YouTube to be here yeah, day number. What are we on? 345. And he came to me, little today's pixie dog. What's today's beer? Today's beer is blonde, blondie, right? Or blonde? Is that blonde or blondie? Which one is it? Blonde. Blonde. And what's the other word? I can't see it. What's that say? Brunette? Yes. Blonde brunette. Right? It's a fucking blonde brunette. But anyhow, it's a um, dark wheat beer, okay? And it's from the Grand Ridge Brewing Company, and it's a limited release. It's 4.1% alcohol. No added chemicals or preservatives. It's 1.1 stand drinks. And a bit of a rundown on it. It's got the Australian version of a, a Dunkel Wizen. Has a light medium brown colour and it's very sessionable. That's what I like about that. The roastiness of chocolate and caramel flavours of the dark malts are delicious. The yes from the wheat, coriander seed and orange peel hints on your palate boldly. Leaving you very refreshed. This introduced a new twist of the fatherland of the Dunkel in Dutchland. Sit slowly and enjoy the depth of this crazy blonde brunette beauty. Sounds fucking very, very interesting. Um, all that stuff. So I probably won't like it. Uh, beat it up like that. Well, so first of all, I can pick up the caramel. Hints of the um, the orange peel. Uh, what else? Maybe a little, little malty, like a bit of um, or chocolate, maybe even coffee, but that's it's very, very, uh, um, like subtle. Straight off the bat, it's a very, um, very light beer, leaves your mouth. Uh, a bit bread like, but it, it swallows clean. There's definitely um, orange zest up there. It's not acidic at all. I don't know, it might be a little bit of coriander. I'm definitely picking up hints of um, chocolate and maybe a little bit of coffee as well. It's not overbearing, it's not bitter at all. Seems fairly well carbonated. And that, that as, as, as you, obviously as I'm drinking it, um, the chocolate becomes a bit more dominant, but the orange zest is um, probably the, the, like the overall sort of taste as well. But it's not acidic at all. You definitely can tell there's chocolate and coffee and um, orange in there. So that's a good sign. Let's see if there's any. There's a bit of sediment on the bottom of it. We love to get the sediment in there. Even if it says don't tip the sediment in there, but you got to tip the sediment. That's the best part of the fucking beer. So, you know, carbonation's pretty good. One finger head. Nice off caramel white white head and it's uh it's fairly light. It's about a medium 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 to light head. And, um it's getting better with every drink. I mean four it's a oh, shit. it's a four point four point one percent so it's a well it's it's a mid strength so it's not a heavy yet. Now it's only one point one standard drinks, it, but it's full of fully flavoured. Um, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5, and the reason I probably don't go 5 out of 5, because I'm having a hard time trying to pick up, oh uh, what is it, oh yeah the chocolate and the caramel, okay so it's still there, it's very subtle but, um, but for the amount of flavour you're getting in also 1.1 standard drinks it's, it's pretty phenomenal for a, a brown beer or a dark wheat beer you might, you might want to say, very very nice. Excuse me, but so yeah, you like it? Get, go give it a try. Not too bad. It's a limited release as well. Yeah, from the Grand Ridge Brewing Company. 
Any people, any out people. Well, better guy in here go enjoy this beer. Take it easy, people. I'll catch us on the flip side tomorrow. Most importantly, be kind to one another.